Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Cello Camp Batch 8, the Mini Pay Launchpad Edition Demo Day. We are super excited to have you all here today. My name is Matt Kenny. I'm Program Manager over at Cello Camp, and I'm joined today by Alon Shavit. Hi, everyone. Great to be here. We're really excited to introduce you all. If this is your first time hearing about Cello Camp, we've had 17 teams in Cello Camp Batch 8 who, over the past six weeks, have gone through technical ses sessions, have had great mentorship, and also through business development workshops. These teams have been working hard. They've been talking to their communities and they've been finding out what sorts of solutions they can use to leverage mini pay. We're really excited to have you all today for the demo day. I'm gonna give you a little bit more information about what to expect, but before we do so, I'm gonna go ahead and pass it over to Alon. Yeah, thank you so much. And I think uh, what we are about to witness in uh, this uh, event is a pivotal a moment, a really an historical moment where the experience in Web3 uh, surpasses the one that we are uh, used to in uh, the traditional finance. Um, if you uh, uh, try to think about what it requires to, uh, to settle a transaction, it usually requires uh, jumping between si different systems, banks, credit providers. And what we are going to see here is, um, is a one-click payouts uh, that is settled from a light uh, client to a blockchain that lives on the, on the cloud. So from a technical standpoint, I think it's pretty remarkable. And the possibilities that uh, it unlocks are really uh, great. Uh, wallets should be fun, should be um, uh, diverse. And uh, we are going to uh, see what founders and entrepreneurs in the region uh, uh, saw as exciting. Um, and I want everyone that watches the demos to think where those projects uh, can, uh, can develop to, how can this uh, project win. And uh, don't hesitate to share in the comments any feedback you have, any shout outs. Uh, if you have any um, uh, questions, uh, we want to have a live discussion uh, also uh, in the comments. And um, I hope we'll have a wonderful uh, show today. And without any further ado, I want to uh, introduce uh, uh, Rene Reinsberg, uh, the president of the Cello Foundation, and to invite him uh, to the stage to share with us a few words. Thank you, Alon. It's great to be here. Uh, thanks to you and Rachel, the team, Matt, doing an amazing job this year. It's, it's been really, I mean, I will say, uh, Salo Camp demo days are always special, are always sort of my favorite, my favorite days and, and events to come to. Uh, this one does, I think, I want to share the sentiment, this one does feel extra special. And I think what it comes down to is really... I think we're witnessing an inflection point in, in sort of the broader Web3 journey where um, I think based on even just the last few months of having MiniPay live and hearing the user stories, um, MiniPay has really cracked that um, a problem that many have tried before, right? And that in the end is, is a combination of the product experience, but also a bunch of ecosystem building blocks that actually, funnily enough, include uh, previous Cello Camp uh, finalists like Paychan, for example, right? That enable that seamless on off ramping experience, right? And that enable ultimately a product experience that can, um, I think, really stand the test compared to traditional means, but also enable totally new experiences. And so I think we're entering into a phase of really rapid growth for a lot of applications that can uh, that no longer have to worry about um, their sort of users fiddling with wallets or not having good access to their to the products they're building but just having a really seamless experience exp you know uh, using the products that people are building and with that I think very quickly expanding the realm of um, what people are using web3 for sometimes without knowing, that it's Web3 under the hood. Um, and I think that's really powerful. I think that really um, personally makes me very excited, very bullish for 2024. Um, I think there's also a lot at stake, right? I think if we're seeing the, and, and Opera just shared a bunch of the, you know, their kind of 
user and growth numbers um, and transaction numbers in, in the recent forum post. Um, if we're sort of, you know, like drawing that out over the course of next year, right, it's, it's easy to see many of the finalists here as they're launching or as they're, integra as they're integrated into MiniPay um, immediately, right, being in front of, you know, millions uh, in terms of an audience and getting tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of users. And that's, I think, something that is pretty unique in Web3, I think it's pretty unique uh, in general, right? When you're when you're launching a product, um, I remember for the first company that we did, you know, it's like getting the first five users was a, was a big hurdle. Um, so I think that's that's really what makes this so special. And I think um, seeing some of the um, the teams uh, last week and you know having met them in the last few the last few weeks, um, I think uh, that kind of in a way increases the stakes also for for this demo day. And yeah, I'm I'm stoked. I'm stoked to kind of see see the demo, see everyone present, and I wish everyone good luck. Um, I I also you know I think acknowledging that this has been a difficult year for a lot of people, and um, obviously not just in Web three, but sort of the the broader geopolitical war, everything right, and to see people um, power through, and and you know despite everything continue uh, with their passion um, has been also one of the really most encouraging things to see this year. So yeah, all in all, um, really thankful to have everyone in this in this community. Um, you know, I definitely uh, I'm excited um, already, <laughs> you know, for 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 the programming here, um, but also look forward to the connections that um, are surely going to form coming out of this and the work that's ahead and wish everyone best of luck and, um, and happy holidays as well. Thank you so much, Rene, for the inspiring uh, words. And uh, as always, uh, I wanna thank the, uh, you, the Cello Foundation uh, for all the support uh, throughout uh, the year. And uh, I really resonate uh, with a lot of what you said. I think uh, working with the 17 teams that were uh, in this cohort, we really uh, felt how um, having a solid uh, tech stack uh, allowed them to focus on their own business propositions and uh, to really um, create uh, uh, new uh, experiences for, uh, um, for users and to make um, MiniPay much more than, than, uh, than just a wallet. So uh, I'm super excited to get the ball rolling and to, uh, and to watch uh, the awesome demos that we have for you today. Thank you so much. Awesome, thank you so much, Renee, for your talk and also Alon for your comments as well. Uh, so a little bit about today's event, we are gonna have 11 teams from Cellocamp Batch 8 who will be joining us. Each team will have roughly between three and four minutes for their pitch and they're also gonna be demonstrating a demo of what the project that they built for MiniPay on Celo. We encourage you all to stick around until the end of the event where voting will open. The community has a 25% vote in determining who will receive Celo Camp awards. First place prize will receive 10,000 Celo. Second pl place prize will receive 5,000 Celo. And third place prize will receive 2,500 Celo. I'm gonna go ahead and post the lineup for today's demo day in the chat. We also encourage you to drop any questions that you might have for teams in the chat. Team members will be there. They'll be watching. Uh, we encourage you all to share contact information, get connected, uh, encourage and support one another as well. It's, you know, it's great to see everybody building community here and knowing that we all can, can grow together. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We have our first presenter of the day, which is Ada Delapo with BitGifty. Hey, Ada Delapo, how are you? I'm very well, Matt. Hi, thank you for having me. Hi, everyone. Um, it's, good, it's great to be here. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, Ada Delapo, Adiago, co-founder of BitGifty. Uh, my team and I have built uh, BitGifty, an amazing crypto gift card platform on the MiniPay. Uh, leveraging on the cello blockchain and the gift card technology. 
Uh, so in a nutshell, BitGifty is a crypto gift card platform for daily lifestyle. And just like the mini P and the seller ecosystem, we believe that crypto adoption won't happen until we can use crypto for our daily lifestyle in a personable, familiar, and fun way. Um, so uh, as we look at the screen, we see the three biggest um, crypto exchanges in uh, Africa. They have some things in common. They are complex and difficult to use and they're boring and emotionless. And however, at BitGifty, we believe crypto gifts should carry emotions, which is why we are building BitGifty. Uh, in Bit, at BitGifty, we like to say that we are in the business of crypto gifting. Um, there's a huge market for gift cards in the sub-Saharan Africa. The digital gift card industry in the sub-Saharan region has grown by 11.5% on annual basis to reach $11.2 billion in 2023. And on the online bill side, we have $2.363 billion that has actually been spent this year with a 28.4 uh, increase. Uh, so we've built uh, our B2C on Minipay. So for this, we integrated the crypto gift card product, which enables users to send personalized crypto gift cards to friends and family from their Minipay balance. And for the spend product, we enable users to use their Minipay balance to pay for their daily utilities, such as airtime, data, electricity, and cable TV. And I would also like to mention that we are one of the first few platforms to make this a possibility uh, for Africans to use their crypto for day-to-day -day utilities. And subsequently, we will be adding more utilities as time goes on. Uh, for the B2B, we will be building our crypto gift card API, crypto spend API, and corporate gifting with a multi-send feature for customer referral and loyalty programs. Our traction so far um, is 25,000 USD in transaction volume, gained from 85 transactions uh, with over 231 signed up users. And our growth marketing uh, strategy so far has been word of mouth, um, activations in Nigerian universities, organic social media posts, and we have been working on leveraging partnerships. We'd also be building a two-sided referral program and a loyalty program. Our founding team consists of uh, three core members, uh, two software developers and a growth marketer, which is myself. Uh, together, we have a combined experience of almost 20 years in the crypto and blockchain space. Uh, thank you for listening, guys. Um, if you want to reach out to us, you can reach out to us via the phone number on the screen or at partner at bitgiftyapp.com. You can also check out more information at bitgifty.com. So I would like to share a demo of how Bitgifty works on uh, the mini paper system. Uh, so um, this is the site tester and you click on the link. So we have a seamless user interface and users can choose their gift card design. So for this, we are using a mini pay gift card design that we created specific for this purpose. So adding the amount, the email of the recipient, and then it knows if you want. And then user simply signs the transaction. As you can see, gift card created successfully. We also added a little bit of confetti, and you know, just to be corny. And then on the redeem side, uh, users get the code from their email and they paste on this and they just click on redeem, simple as that. And then immediately the gift card created has been, uh, the gift card has been redeemed successfully, uh, which is added to their mini pay balance. And then for the spend feature, we have um, users can choose their provider, for instance, buy airtime, Airtel airtime. So this is a demo on how this works. Um, had the phone number, uh, the amount you would like to buy and click on buy airtime. So it's as seamless as um, that. And they can also buy uh, data, electricity and cable. And um, if you can see on the transaction, you see that um, 0.1 was sent as gift card and 0.1 was received as gift cards. And then 0.09 was used to purchase airtime. So that's it for BitGifty. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you so much, Alida Lope, for a wonderful uh, pitch and demo. And uh, to see how it works uh, seamlessly for this uh, uh, newly integration, it's like truly, truly remarkable and a testimony to the hard work uh, that your team uh, put uh, into this. And what a wonderful way to, uh, to interact, uh, gifting your friends, your family, we're coming into the holidays. So I think it's also a beautiful uh, mission. I liked the little uh, uh, animation that you add there, and I can definitely see how you add more of that to, uh, to the implementation, even mini games, you know, you, who will be the first one to open a, an envelope and get the gift if you share it on a social group uh, or, a, or, or shaking experiences. Um, I think uh, I, I can see this uh, app uh, develop and uh, wish you uh, good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Alan. Thank you, Matt.
Thanks so much, Adelapo. Next up, we're going to have Namdi from Lockie. Hey, Namdi, how are you? I think, I think you might still be muted. Yeah, we can hear can you now. Well? Yeah, right, we've, all, you? we've all been there. <laughs> all right, thank you. Can you see my screen as well? Uh, yes, we're pulling it up right now. Uh, it just looks like it's loading for a second. Perfect. And there you go. Yeah. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. I'm Namdi, co-founder at Lucky, and we are building an open source widget that makes savings and yield accessible on Minipay. Recently came second on... Hi, Matt. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, it looks like it, uh, the screen might be frozen a bit. Uh, it looks like your video might be frozen as well. Are you able to hear me? Yeah, I can hear you clearly. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but it looks like your screen might be frozen and your video might be frozen. So Namdi, you know, I'm going to give you a second to go ahead and work on those technical difficulties and we'll come up to you after the next person. So next up, we are going to have Amos from Tausi. Hi, guys. Hey, Amos, how are you? Very good. I hope mine doesn't freeze as well. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> I know. All right. So my name is Amos. I am the CEO and founder at Tausi Up. So Tausi, I personally was a gospel musician in East Africa. I made amazing songs for five years. I toured a lot in Africa making music, but it was always hard for me to find a makeup artist to actually come shave me on set, shave me on ground. I had a team of 30 dancers, so I would spend like $300 on them doing makeup. But it was always hard finding a makeup artist who was a freelancer agreeing to come to the set. So I quit music because I figured out every time I order an Uber, the guy always comes, he feels taken care of, common sense, he knows if you ordered, you're going to pay. But artists don't feel the same way. So I quit music and I started Tausi. Tausi means peacock in Swahili for the guys who don't know what Tausi means. So Tausi is a beauty tech platform um, that connects you to quality beauticians at the top of a button. And we're leveraging AI and blockchain as well. And our vision is to drive a change in habits. And our mission is to drive opportunities to skill beauticians as well. So why Tausi is because Africa is a virgin market uh, and our customers are actually benefiting from our innovation, our convenience, our affordability and our professionalism as well as we create employment to urban encouraged freelance beauticians. So we've managed to have a traction of 20,000 users that we have currently. Uh, they come from TV, film studios, weddings. We are big on weddings, clubs, frontline customer cares, which is B2B. Um, and then beauty colleges as well are partners. We have over 6,000 beauticians across East Africa and South Africa as well. We have over 100 partners and we've done 13,000 transactions, which has helped us make at least $60,000 this year. We have strategic partnerships um, with guys like Maybelline. Maybelline allows our beauticians to purchase products at 30% off. Payland as well. Lintons is our uh, partners that help us with uh, the training process and the verification process of the beauticians that are being onboarded. And Hava and Bo works like Uber, they move our beauticians from point A to point B at 30%. You might be asking yourself which problem we are solving is exploitation of clients. I personally felt exploited when I was a musician, somebody asking me to send them money before I've even seen their work. And then there's beautician verification. Who told you the person that shaves you or does your makeup is actually verified? And then there's timely connections to petitions. We all have to agree that we waste a lot of time when it comes to going to the salon and the barber shop. And then now the solution we came up with is a beauty tech platform that uh, does all these things that we have. Now, how are we integrating with Minipay? We have empowering beauty accesses. This allows beauticians to actually across the whole of Africa uh, to have a seamless digital experience. There's financial inclusion in beauty as well, enabling secure and convenient beauty services transactions across Africa. And lastly, digital beauty revolution. Uh, this is leveraging on blockchain and AI 
and our clients can actually be able to pay easily and seamlessly without with a permissionless manner as well. It's going to look something like this. Currently, Tausi uses M-Pesa, PayPal, and a credit card, but you're going to start using Minipay as well. Our market is quite huge, over 15 billion in Africa, uh, and, and uh, Kenya actually has 567 urban courage women, which are only 49 in urban areas, and we're only targeting around that number. So our revenue model is B2B2C, meaning we actually make money on every in-app transaction where we get a commission of 20%. Uh, our competitors are modern or old traditional salons. We just have the data that they don't know. We know how many times you've gone to a salon and how many times you've shaved your hair this year, and they don't. Uh, we've managed to raise a pre-seed round of 100K. We are looking for a seed round of 250,000 so that we can do 1 million job connections across five African countries by 2025. Uh, we can get into our financials a bit later because this is just a projection. Uh, my, this is my team. We have the CEO who just left nice and lovely. Our CTO is based in Dallas. We have Suzy Wokabi, who is uh, the founder of Suzy Beauty, which is one of the biggest beauty manufacturers in Africa, in Kenya, actually. Irene Kiwia was Miss Tanzania a while back, and John Kamara is a serial entrepreneur and founder at Adenian Labs. Thank you. That's Tausiap. Uh, I would like to show you a demo of how Tausiap works. <laughs> So I'm going to mute that. So this is Tausia. Um, you can just create an account. Once you create an account, you're going to see a couple of, oh, sorry, you're going to see a couple of petitions, thousands of them. You just type the name of the petition you like, or you type your location, or you type the specific service. You're going to see um, about them. You can see their ratings, you can see the jobs, you can see the photos of how they look like. If that does not please you, you can move ahead, select somebody else who's closer to you as well, see their job. If you end up actually liking the job, you click on the service that they're offering. And then you click book. Once you click book, it allows you to say how many clients you are, the amount and digits are going to counter themselves, um, the cost, you can book one hour from now or 30 days prior, you set the exact time that you actually need the service. It's supposed to know automatically your location. If you are booking and you're not in that location, you're going to be in a different location. Like uh, let's say I'm in Karen here. It's going to route itself. You can see beauticians now that are actually closer to that, or you can notify a beautician to actually come there and even put your house block number to be specific so that she knows exactly where she's coming. You can set the products that you uh, specifically need. There are people who are actually allergic to beauty products differently. So you can specify. This is now where Solo Pay comes in. Instead of using M-Pesa across Africa, uh, we can also use M-Pesa and Solo as well. Now it's it's important to point out that we already have current beauticians in South Africa. We were actually one of the beauty tech startups that were nominated for the Startup World Cup. So we're actually gaining traction fast in South Africa and in East Africa. And thank you. That is Tausia. Thank you so much, uh, Amos, and uh, yeah. bringing uh, opportunities to uh, earn uh, money to, to, to work uh, through Minipay is uh, very exciting. And uh, really, you have a beautiful uh, app and uh, quite a nice attraction. And I can definitely see um, uh, how you can uh, scale this and maybe even do uh, offer more um job opportunities to creatives and uh, so awesome job and uh, thank you so much thank you thank you so much awesome thank you so much amos for the presentation next up we'll have abiola with shiga hey abiola how are you uh, i'm good i'm good yourself doing well thank glad you. to see you okay cool all right so um hi everybody um, my name is Abiola Shogbeni. I'm CEO and co-founder at Shiga Digital. Um, we, are, we are on a mission to uh, connect Africa to global liquidity. So thanks for the opportunity to work with Celo in this camp. Um, so our purpose, our purpose is essentially to bridge um, DeFi and CeFi together and essentially make sure that customers truly own their wallets in a compliant um, manner. 
Um, we make these solutions accessible to everybody um, with a specific focus on Africans and Africans in a diaspora. So the problems that we, we've been solving um, with our OTC desk and our DAP is, you know, lack of access to robust and re reliable solutions, um, poor user experience from legacy banking systems and decentralized applications, um, lack of interoperability, so different solutions solving for different problems, um, restrictive monetary policy in TradFi. So how do we solve that problem? So we reduce the barriers to entry, so giving customers as, as many ways as possible to um, leverage our solutions. We create intuitive and curated user experiences to essentially make it easy for people who are not web-free customers or who are web-free customers to leverage our system. Um, seamless and re reliable and robust integrations to ensure compliant um, infrastructure for the services we provide and then access to open source finance. So I'm gonna quickly just um, demo now. Okay, so um, this is our um, integration with Minipay. So essentially with Minipay, we want Minipay customers to be able to pay for goods and services anywhere in the world. Um, so how do we do that? We do that by essentially at, um, using Social Connect to embed the, your Minipay wallet into our Shiga DAP, which obviously focuses on um, enabling customers to on and off ramp through mobile money and bank transfer globally. So as you can see, um, a customer, what we've done is we've embedded the customer's wallet. Um, the customer has access to multi-chain wallets and they can pay um, for Uber, for any type of service uh, anywhere. So at the moment, you can see on screen, um, the customer's inputting the amount that they want to pay out um, in Naira for the service. Um, and you, you get a, a service summary. You sign a transaction. And then you sign a transaction on Minipay, and as you can see, the balance is reflected. So that's also reflected on your Minipay account and on the balance here. You can see the transaction on the blockchain. And the example we've given, and you can see the transaction for the customer and for the payment that you've made. So the example we've given is the ability to just pay for an Uber. So you know, if you just landed in Nigeria, for example, you don't have a bank account, you should be able to use your Minipay account to just pay for, for an Uber. So I want to just quickly go back to our deck. So, so far this year, we've um, exceeded $25 million worth of transaction volume. So that's for a bunch of different types of customers, high net worth individuals, retail customers, corporates, web free customers, all different types of customers. Um, and that's enabled us to really understand um, how we can leverage Minipay um, and provide a service for, you know, a whole bunch of different customers in the, in the market. Our, our business model today is really focused on OTC Desk and our DAP. Um, so I've just explained that for our OTC Desk, we've done $25 million. And then on our, on our application, we've got um, 2,500 customers waiting on, our joint, waiting on our wait list to access our products and our solution. So our vision is essentially to enable customers to use their Minipay application to pay for any goods and service, no matter where they are, just like PayPal. So, you know, we have a really strong team to deliver on this. Um, so my background is investment banking. So the last 10 years prior to joining the blockchain space, working in different banks. Um, so my co-founder, Dami Atomi, um, local, worked in oil and gas sector in Nigeria. And, 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 and really another really important factor about us is our focus on compliance. So we have Hannah by Atomi, um, our legal counsel, who helps us navigate the complex and, you know, regulatory environment. So, yeah, thank you, everybody, for your time. Um, together, we want to connect Africa to global liquidity. So this is a really important initiative. So you can get in contact with us through the, the handles here, and um, my details are there. Thank you. Thank you so much, Abiola, for a wonderful uh, pitch. Well done. And I think for the near future, it seems that uh, fiat and uh, stable coins will work side by side, and the uh, ability to seamlessly jump between them in a, a compliant manner, in a seamless manner, is very, very important. And I think that's the um, a problem that you are uh, tackling, uh, being able to pay for, a, for an Uber, uh, for a, any type of a service, a restaurant, uh, seamlessly with your uh, um, uh, mini pay uh, app with uh, getting the, the transaction settled within seconds is like wonderful and it's like really really awesome to see it 
uh, in your demo. So uh, good luck and thank you so much for this uh, presentation. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Abiola. Next up, we have Namdi from Lockie who will be joining us. Hey, Namdi. Hi, Matt. Thank you for the opportunity again. Hi, everyone. I am Namdi, co-founder of Lockie. And at Lockie, we are building an open source widget that makes savings and yield accessible on Minipay. Lucky recently won the bid with Cello Minipay Hackathon, and the problem we are focused on working is, you know, the, how to hedge against the effect of hyperinflation for the Afri uh, for the average African. To put this into context, meet Ugo. She's a Nigerian citizen that tries to hedge against inflation by converting her naira to CS to USD, and she quickly realizes that this is a very difficult and expensive process. Now introducing Lucky, a simple, secure, and decentralized savings platform for everyone. Saving on Lucky is as simple as ABC, as Lucky integrates seamlessly with Minipay to allow users to on-ramp and off-ramp, as well as Mula protocol on the Celo network, which is a decentralized loaning, lending and borrowing protocol that allows users to earn interest on their savings. Users on Lucky can save and earn up to 2% APY just by saving on Lucky. Without further ado, let us jump into a live demo. Over here, I have my mini pick, my Android phone casting on my, on my laptop. And once a user wants to save on Lucky, all they need to do is from their mini pay app, they click on the Explorer button and enter the widget URL. I'll quickly enter that. And this brings them to the widgets dashboard. So from the dashboard, the user can see their mini pay balance. They can see how much they have saved and as well how much they have earned. To save on Lucky, all, is, all the user needs to do is enter the amount in CUSD. I'm going to enter 0 0.1 and approve that. So once the user clicks on approve and confirms that transaction, it's going to enable the save button. And of course, as we know, transactions are very fast on Celo network and this should go in no time. Perfect. Now I can click on the save button and I'll be able to save my 0 0.1 CUSD. So when this is successful, I am going to get a notification on the DAP and my earning starts. Perfect. Now what just happened is I just I quickly saved 0 0.1 and it has started earning interest on the current APY. Let's assume that a, a user has saved for a while and wishes to withdraw. Withdrawing on Lucky is as simple as hitting the withdrawal tab and entering the amount. I'm going to enter 0 0.2. And then click on the withdrawal button. Confirm that on my mini pay. And I should get a notification of successful withdrawal. Perfect. I've just been notified that I've, my withdrawal is successful. And on my phone, I just received a notification that I've gotten cash. So Lucky integrates seamlessly with Minipay and helps users to save and earn earnings on their on their on Minipay. The market opportunity for Lucky is huge as we are building on Minipay with that, that currently resides on Opera Mini with over 120 million. And the team behind Lucky is very capable. Myself and my co-founder Sumto has been building professional apps for the past six years. You can shoot us an email or send us uh, or check out the DAP on Lucky.pro. Thank you very much for your time and join us on our journey to make savings and yield very accessible. Thank you. Thank you so much, Namdi, and I love those uh, live demos. Um, I think your mission of uh, simplifying uh, DeFi and making it more uh, accessible, more secure is, is just uh, great. And uh, really looking forward to see how uh, you develop uh, this product. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Namdi with Lockie. Next up, we have Zoth. Hey, Kushak, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, thanks for asking. Hey, everyone. Uh, yeah, this is Kaushik. I'm the co-founder at Zoth. Uh, at Zoth, we are building new age infrastructure to solve for cross-border trade in emerging markets. There are significant inefficiencies in the emerging markets uh, global trade finance space, uh, primarily coming from borrowers who don't have access to USD-based capital, 
most of the global trade finance uh, happens in USD, so it's vital for their needs. Uh, these borrowers are SMEs, exporters, etc. Obviously, there's a there's a long and complex procedure to get capital. On the lender side, who are looking for investment opportunities across the globe, they don't have access to cross-border trade opportunities in emerging markets. Uh, they don't have uh, transparency regarding the asset quality, which uh, hinders them from making an investment. And obviously, there's increase in stablecoin adaption, which means uh, they are beating some of the biggest payment pa uh, platforms like Visa and MasterCard. At Zoth, we want to bridge the uh, stablecoin infrastructure, the technology of blockchain to solve for cross-border trade, primarily to remove the inefficiencies. We bring in high quality assets on chain. That means there's complete transparency for both lenders and borrowers. And because we're utilizing stable coins and also eliminating middlemen, we are reducing the cost to capital for our borrowers by 20 to 30 percent. Uh, the market opportunity in emerging markets cross-border trade is huge. We want to capture a portion of it, which makes our uh, target market almost equal to $125 billion. Our business model is fairly straightforward. We take a commission on top of every loan that we deploy, which is directly uh, realized in form of our revenues. Uh, our team comes from a great uh, trade finance experience uh, working in companies like Unilever and AV InBev, our world's largest beer company. We have legal experts who worked at Big Four and also DeFi experts who worked at some of the biggest uh, uh, fintech and DeFi companies. We have, until now, we have deployed a total loan amount of $5.6 million uh, into unicorns and also some of the top trade finance companies like Zetwork, Udan, A55, Affinity. We also have a pipeline of $132 million in, in, uh, in the next 18 months, and we are building an ecosystem of end-to-end -end infrastructure to solve for this problem. With MiniPay integration, we want to allow uh, MiniPay users to directly invest into our opportunities and earn up to 15% on top of their uh, US dollars and also any cryptocurrency on top of uh, Celo, primarily CUSD. And uh, for borrowers, we also allow them to directly capture loans uh, through Zoth platform. Uh, let me just uh, bring up the uh, demo quickly. Yeah, so users can directly, uh, you know, you, uh, connect to the platform using uh, uh, any wallet here, Minipay. Uh, they can perform a quick KYC. KYB, KYC is compulsory because we are a real-world asset platform. Compliance is uh, really important for us. Once the KYC, KYB is done, uh, which I'm just forwarding, uh, they will be able to explore opportunities on the platform, which are primarily coming from uh, different uh, areas of uh, cross-border trade. Uh, so once the uh, they can explore the data room, they can make an investment within the platform itself and they can receive rewards in our dashboards. So this is a simple one click uh, process after KYC is done. And that's what we want to enable for investors on on Celo. Thank you. Hey, Alon, I think you may be muted. Oh, apologies. So thank you so much, Kushik, for this wonderful uh, demonstration. And real world assets have grew, grown just in uh, 2023 in more than uh, $1 billion. So there's definitely a, a demand for uh, real world assets and uh, credit lines, credit uh, lending is definitely an exciting uh, uh, asset. So um, I'm really looking uh, forward to uh, how you're gonna uh, uh, implement this and enable this, um, you know, enabling loans for small businesses in Africa uh, definitely sounds like uh, something that will be uh, very meaningful for, for the region. So uh, really appreciate uh, the demo here. Thanks everyone, thanks for the opportunity. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kushik. Next up, we have Yuki, who's going to be joining us. For... Hi, hey Matt. Can you hear me? Yeah, so we can hear you. Of course. Makes sense. Ah, okay. I mean, yeah. Uh, so my name is uh, Dennis from Yuki. Uh, we are building the API infrastructure platform for building and scaling Web3 possibilities. We had the opportunity to be the best uh, DeFi startup. We won the DeFi Innovation Award at Celo, the last uh, DeFi, uh, the last Celo camp. And also one of the best, we were recognized by Stella as one of the best uh, 
uh, startups at the Stellar Camp that happened uh, early summer this year. One of the biggest problems we are seeing in Africa, why there is so much innovation happening on the Web3 layer, most of the infrastructure supporting this uh, innovation of Web3 are static. Developers, business people spend so much time and money just to build out a simple Web3 solution. The API infrastructures, the, um, the, the, the API infrastructure, the partnership that businesses need to build and scale the solutions are not readily available. And the ones that are available are static. They don't support things like account abstraction. They don't support things like DeFi on a very granular level. And they have legacy stacks. And existing solutions like Coinbase, Fireblocks out there in the US and the West are very expensive and designed without local context for so many African uh, businesses. And we're solving this problem by building the most simplest and secure way for African businesses to work with digital assets. We've made, uh, we've built out an infrastructure that is composable, turnkey, and uh, API kits for African businesses and developers to build out web solutions. So right now, building on Yuki is, building a web solution with Yuki is faster and you have, developers have access to endless possibilities of what they can build. We offer non-considered wallets as an API with native security and account abstraction embedded out of the bus. We have AML and uh, KYT checks embodied on the transaction flow, meaning any money coming out of the platform and any money coming into the platform uh, automatically, uh, automatically uh, KYC, um, a, uh, automatically checked for fraud. We support native, uh, we have native support for cross-chain interoperability and DeFi access, meaning that, uh, meaning that, uh, as a user or as a developer, you can allow your users move assets from maybe stable blockchain to move stable coin support from each one particular blockchain to another blockchain. And also, we have support for what we call partner kit functionalities. We are orchestrating providers across Africa and the world to support businesses to add things like on ramp, things like compliance, and so many other security functionalities. We are working with so many companies like Bridge Finance, Yellow Card, Pechant, and so many other wonderful folks at the Silo ecosystem. Already, we have over $75,000, $78,000 MRR in our pipeline. And many of these pioneering companies trust Yuki currently to, pioneer, uh, to power their infrastructure. People like Aladdin, Actagent. Actagent is a B2B payment company with over $3 million in volume. Corix is using Yuki API to turn, NF, turn event tickets to NFT badges in, Easter, in, in uh, Francophone Africa. We have Route Money. We have BitCarter, SFX. Utopia Labs and Gonana Farm and more other companies as well. The team building Yuki is very experienced. We have three solid years of experience working together as a team. We have the expertise and the know-how to scale and build out uh, inf global financial infrastructure. And we are building Yuki out of experience that we had building our last startup, which is a crypto uh, robo advisory product that is over $400,000 in volume. We have experience working with Max, Celo, InterSwitch, so many uh, global and uh, in financial service companies in the world. At Celo Camp, we've built one thing to enable more possibilities, which is a DeFi kit, because we heard from developers and users that they need to be able to find a way to plug in DeFi, uh, staking, and all the rest of them into their products. So and when we came to the Celo Camp, we started to build DeFi kits to unite liquidity of exchanges and different aggregators into a single API. And then for um, leveraging on that and on the mental lab kit, because we, are bu we built a open source gasless decks on mental lab for mini pay users to be able to swap and trade Celo assets. So I'm going to be sharing my screen right now. We're going to be presenting a live uh, demo of how this uh, app works. My co-founder will be operating uh, the demo from the side. Yeah, so this is live and everything is happening on the Celo uh, testnet. So we designed Just, sorry. Where is my WhatsApp? No, 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 I know what to do. Yeah, pissed it again. Sorry, we are. Uh, remember to. Close this down. Yeah, sorry for the delay. So this is the DAP that we've built on 
uh, Celo. So everything is doing right now on the DAB is happening 0 0.1. It's happening right on chain. Users can be able to swap from Celo to CUSD, be able to swap from CUSD to Celo. And also we've added support for, uh, we've added support for asset like, uh, we've added support for things like uh, C Euro, C Rio, and C Zofa. So the idea is to be able to allow uh, many page users to be able to like swap from any of the assets they want to be able to swap to to uh, any uh, asset they want to be able to to any asset they want to be able to uh, swap as well. So um, you just have to give it some time because it kind of takes a little bit of time to load because of the Celo uh, test nets for uh, test nets or how it works. So, but the DAP we are making it gasless. We want to make abstract fees. On the DAP to make sure that mini pay users can be able to swap CUSD to uh, to Celo and also swap Celo um, back to CUSD and maybe somebody in Francophone African country want to move from their CUSD to Zofa and then from their Zofa back to uh, CUSD as well. The whole experience is to enable Celo mini pay users swap and also enable a uh, larger liquidity uh, unlock for the Celo ecosystem generally. So thank you uh, for the. Uh, presentation. So everything that we did kind of happened on chain. You can uh, check out the on-chain addresses. Everything is happening live on the Celo uh, test nets that we've already connected and we plan to unlock this for the larger Celo uh, mini pay ecosystem. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dennis. And it's really remarkable to see that the growth and the, the journey that you took uh, in the uh, Celo ecosystem, <coughs> and <clears throat> I think bringing developer tools uh, 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 that will enable any business, any builder, any developer to, in, in, in simple steps, to uh, uh, start and build uh, on, a, um, on Celo and for Minipay and uh, taking away the complexities that sometimes are associated with uh, blockchain technologies I think it's it's super important. I loved the, the 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 live demo, and yeah. um, really uh, wish you a good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Elon. Thank you, everybody. Have a nice day and good luck to the team, guys. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dennis Marie. Next up, we have Alphonse with Coinbridge. Hey, Alphonse, how are you? Hi, Matt. How are you? I'm doing well. Got yeah, great. Hi everyone, my name is Alphonse Mutebi, a co-founder at Coinbridge, and at Coinbridge, we're creating financial bridges one coin at a time. So the problem we're trying to work on is, based on research, 57% of Africans do not, do not hold any kind of bank account. Millions of Africans therefore lack access to traditional banking services. And even more worrying is that is since the year 2020, the Kenya shilling has lost approximately 25% of its value against the US dollar. So our solution, CoinBridge, uh, empowers underserved communities in Africa to actively engage in the digital economy by offering effortless access to on-ramp and off-ramp infrastructure. So in a nutshell, what CoinBridge is trying to do is uh, we're providing the financial rails using our local payment methods such as M-Pesa to allow people to accept uh, switch digital dollars in the form of CUSD um, and al therefore allowing them to access the digital economy. So for the camp, we worked on the mini pay widget, which essentially allows on-ramp and off-ramp using familiar payment methods, such as mobile money, in this case, M-Pesa. So we chose M-Pesa simply because M-Pesa is a mobile payment platform um, that cuts across Africa. Uh, M-Pesa also has over 20 million subscribers, so it was an obvious choice. So we would like to think of ourselves as a moon pay of Africa, and I'll show you why in the demo. So if we could pull up the demo. Yeah, so we'll jump into the site tester, input the link, and uh, we'll check uh, the mini pay balance will be fetched. So we'll go through the deposit journey. So we'll enter our phone number, and then input the amount we want to do. Uh, so in this case, 15 Kenya shilling, which is about 0 0.1 CUSD. So our payment request is being made. Um, you will soon get a prompt where we input our M-Pesa pin. After inputting our M-Pesa pin, we should receive CUSD, so we'll get a notification from mini pay confirming this and a deduction from your mobile money wallet. So uh, yes, so the notification is there and yeah, the balance has increased. Now we'll go through the withdrawal journey. So we'll input our name 
and then we'll put the amount you want to withdraw. So in this case, we'll withdraw 0 0.1 CUSD. And we'll input the number where we want uh, the mobile money to go to. So we'll hit withdraw CUSD, sign our transaction. And yeah, you should receive a notification from uh, the mobile money service provider that you have received about 15 Kenya shilling and the balance should re re reduce. So it's now 0 0.20 CUSD. So we can go back to our slides. And yeah, so we designed a, a very simple process. It's very intuitive. We designed it to be about two minutes long for you to jump from um, fiat to crypto and from and, and back and back from crypto to fiat. Um, yeah, and this is our capable team. So we have about eight years experience across us. And uh, finally, thank you for your time. You can reach out to us uh, by our email, coinbridgeafrica.gmail.com. Thank you so much, Alphonse and the CoinBridge team. And uh, another great presentation. Um, I think being able to uh, integrate between Minipay and any type of mobile mining provider is uh, is important. Um, and also your uh, approach to uh, underserved uh, communities in Africa is uh, very inspiring. So uh, thank you so much for this uh, presentation and good luck. Thank you so much, you guys. Awesome. Thank you so much, Alphonse and the CoinBridge team. Next up, we have Derek from ClixPesa. Hey, Derek, how are you? There's a, there's a bit, it sounds a bit muffled, actually. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, it's still, it, the audio is still a bit weak. Okay, then I think you have to stick me so that I can fix that. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll go to the next person and we'll come back to you. Okay, no problem. All right, next up we have Joshua from Bing Teller. Hey Joshua, how are you? Are you with us? Looks like you might be muted. Hi, it's great. Can you include me now? Hey, yes, we can hear you. All right. So you choose recipient currency. All right. Um so hi hi everyone. I'm Joshua, co-founder and CEO of Bing Teller, with a background in finance, payments, and blockchain. And along with my co-founder Perry, together we are building Bing Teller. So let's have a conversation. Yeah. So imagine a world where you need a separate TV remote for every TV channel or have to wait 14 days before you can switch channels. That would be very frustrating, right? Now that's how moving money across Africa currently works today. There's currency currency restriction, slow settlement, high fees and unlimited reach which actually limits how Africans get to assess the global economy today. So this is quite, this is quite an old time problem that's very persistent. And the reason is because the current payment infrastructures were never designed to serve this growing demands and purposes of the digital economy, which means we need more inclusive alternatives. And Bing Teller solved this with a, with a very simple solution. With Bing Teller today, you can send money from anywhere in the world using your using CUSD from a mini pay wallet, a recipient just gets fear to doing five to five within five to 10 minutes. And this is actually makes, this is actually what makes Minteller very simple and easy to use because we're able to connect different payment networks into crypto, now solving the issues of fragmentation, connectivity, and so more. Yeah. So we call Minipay the passport to assess the global economy because it is the perfect day to the wallet, right? And now we are enabling Minipay users more by giving them more superpowers and, and ways to actually unlock more utility. So quickly, let me show you a demo of how you can send money to your friends or family or business partners in Africa using Intel and Minipay. Cash delivery method. Then you choose bank account name. You enter account number. Um, this account number gets um, queried and verified automatically. Um, you can add you can add um, a note to this transaction, but this is actually optional. Yeah. So at this point, you get to choose many as your payment method. At the minute you click on make payments, 
a withdraw mandate is triggered and denomination is pushed and the minute this transaction is confirmed in our system fiat just gets settled instantly um this is actually as simple as abc so yeah yeah so additional to this we are also building more ways for users to make everyday payments on online stores like jumia and also pay for services game subscriptions and also just get to facilitate everyday transactions using minipay as a payment method so instead of just sending crypto minipay would actually act as a tokenizable wallet so you pay with minipay and merchant just gets fiat all powered by bintela so this sounds cool right yeah so currently um bintela is live in five african markets and about about go live in six others we plan to support more markets in the next 24 months you know truly becoming a pan-african product you know and most importantly driving cusd and minipay utility in the past 12 months, we've processed over $1.6 million, and we are growing at 75% month-over-month growth, powering payments for tech communities, remote teams, international contractors, and a few others. And our goal is to process $3.5 billion in TVA by 2025. Yep. So looking at the current market dynamics today, we strongly believe this is a market to provide value and bid for. And we believe the mini pay Bing Teller collaboration would enable over 200 million people and for the five, 44 million businesses in Africa to seamlessly connect to the global crypto economy and truly thrive and prosper. Yeah. So thanks so much to the Celo community. Thanks, Operates, for this amazing opportunity. And also thanks to our companies for making this an amazing experience. So yeah, cheers, everyone. Thank you so much, Joshua. <clears throat> Another great uh, presentation and, and demo. Uh, and I'd like lo love to see how seamless it was to, to integrate from a bank and your vision of uh, enabling uh, online payments as well. So uh, a great job uh, throughout uh, the camp and wishing you uh, the best of luck. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you so much, Joshua. Joshua and Bing Tell were one of the teams that went through the startup pathway. Not every team is able to always get into Settle Camp, so we do encourage people to sign up for the startup pathway as well, which is another set of training and educational programs that we have available. Next up, another startup pathway alumni who's made their way to Settle Camp is Derek from ClixPesa. Hey, Derek, Thank you for you? having me back, Matt. I hope I'm now clear. Yes, we can hear you great. Yeah, so this is Derek Kachisa from ClixPesa, and we are trying to simplify money moves for your family and friends with Minipin. Now, at ClickSpacer, we have realized that most African financial products are really underutilized. And as you can see, we only have 16% of mobile money uh, accounts in Africa being active. And we think this is a very big problem and how we are trying to wonder how can we improve this. And what we have seen is that we need to design uh, these products from a perspective of needs while keeping things very simple. And while joining Minipay on their journey to onboard Africans onto Web3, we think that the needs for them to stay resilient and meet their financial goals is something that we can help solve on Minipay. So uh, meet, oh, sorry. Meet our friend here, Wanjiku, uh, who has a very interesting uh, financial ally, what we refer to as ROSCAS. ROSCAS are basically rotational savings and credit associations that most of our community have formed in order to support each other financially. And Wanjiku uses this uh, to meet most of her financial goals in her business. And as um, while as a product, we have started with uh, called these click spaces where this person can be able to create a convenient or trusted roster on Web3. And now Wanjiku can invite her friends over uh, onto the platform. They can be able to contribute together and uh, track uh, how they contribute monthly to their goals. And once they have this uh, port is full, she can be able to withdraw this and use it towards her business. And while she's waiting for this spot to mature while her friends are contributing, she can also tap into our peer-to-peer -peer micro loans where she can be able to ask for a loan within the circle and someone can be able to lend her maybe at good terms. With this is a very uh, useful tool because loans are very expensive for people like Wanjiku and especially because they rely on these day loans maybe to fund their inventory for, for, for that particular day and other target groups that we have like motorcycle riders who also use this in order to run their business. Now I will try to switch over to the demo. Okay, great. So here we have uh, our DAP already 
uh, deployed here on Minipay. And once you come in, when you do not have any spaces, you'll be asked either to join a space or create one. So we'll create one and maybe we'll call it uh, demo day. And then we can say how many members we want for that particular group. And then we'll be able to continue and let us set up a goal. And since I put like eight members, so each member should contribute uh, 6.25 USD. And they can be able to set uh, their schedule wherever they want, maybe weekly on a Tuesday, that's when the contribution should be made. And maybe that person should receive their funds the next day, every week. So let's choose Wednesday here and set and then continue. So I will try to approve this. But if everything goes well, I think I'm stuck. Network is stuck. Maybe I'll have to start over the process. Uh, so let's uh, copy the link. Create a space. Let's call it demo day. Then we'll have eight members, like we said. Continue, let's put a target of 20. Now I have reduced the goal amount. Then I will try to approve this particular transaction. So what will happen is uh, this transaction will be sent over onto our spaces address and we should be able to see something popping up like one second ago. So there was a contract that was created here. And once uh, we have seen that, so we'll go back onto our space and you can see that the current space is demo day here. And now Wanjiku can be able to make a simple contribution. So let's say I can put maybe one CUSD and fund that particular port. I will have to approve the fund. And so I have loaded uh, an account here also so that we can be able to see if there are going to be any ongoing transaction. Okay. So the first step was to approve the funds and now we need to actually perform the actual transaction. Okay, so something has happened and when we refresh here, we'll see that two seconds ago, there is some small token that was sent over, which is one uh, cello dollar. Okay, so we'll go back to the presentation. Mart. Great, so as we have seen, uh, ClickSpacer uh, is trying to simplify these things with multiple iterations. And currently we are running our, our pilot and we have our private launch this Friday. Everyone in Kenya is welcome. And in Q1 2024, we want to focus on growth, basically selling to our target market and building an agency network in order to show how people can use this product for their own uh, use and later, collaborate with partners in the ecosystem for, especially for yields, maybe for the Roscas through Moolah and partners like that. And this has been a few uh, progress since we started last year from Web3 Athon coming into the build with Celo, joining Celo Campus as Startup Pathway. Then later on, we joined Batch7 where we got the Financial Include uh, Award and currently uh, utilizing the, the grant from Presenti in order to try and finish our pilot. This has been your able team made of two technical founders, Derek and Samuel, and a financial guru, Cecilia Njoroge. Thank you so much, everyone. This has been ClickSpacer, making money and crypto simple for everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much, Derek. And always a pleasure to, uh, to see you present. Uh, awesome job. And I think <clears throat> you bring a, a simple solution, the ability to uh, uh, pull funds together uh, whether it's to fund something simple like a party or an event or something that can change the life of, uh, of, of individuals. And I think you demonstrated it very simply. Also, you're bringing the uh, concepts like the Rosca and the Chamas that are very regional uh, uh, specific, which I, I, I really, really like that. So uh, awesome, awesome job and uh, really wishing you good luck. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you so much, Derek and the ClickSpacer team. Next up, we have Asur.
Hey, Ada, how are you? Hi, everyone. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can. Awesome. So for the slides, okay, so I think this is the one. Oh, yes, that's the one. Okay, cool. Um, I think I'll go now. Oh, no, this slide doesn't look good. Okay, I'll just I'll just go. Hi everyone. Uh, it looks like we may be having some technical difficulties with Ada and Atsur. So we're going to go ahead and move on to Games and Players Network while we go ahead and get that sorted out. Next up, we have Ralphie with us with Games and Players Network. Hey, Ralphie, how are you? Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Rafa, and I'm the lead at Games and Players Network. Okay. So uh, at the Games and Players Network, we're a community for gamers, built by gamers. Um, I've been playing video games for as long as I can remember. And I started a gaming company. And one of the things I noticed was uh, there weren't so many esports activities locally. So um, I got together with some of my friends and we decided to start hosting tournaments. Um, we've um, hosted over a thousand players from multiple cities in Nigeria. We've awarded to over $3,000 to players. And we've partnered with global brands like Unstoppable Domains and Passful. Um, for, so from our experience, we noticed some, some problems with the eSports space. Uh, there's trust issues with payments. Uh, I've had issues with players who won tournaments. And I haven't got scammed once by a player who didn't win tournaments. And I had to pay. So uh, we noticed there were so many issues with payments. And there was no efficient way to set up tournaments. And there's also difficulty in finding tournaments as a player and also in finding sponsors as a tournament host. So um, the solution we came up with is um, a marketplace that connects players, hosts, and sponsors. So imagine a space where you can go on there, find tournaments to compete in, and when you do, you can be able to win something out of it. So by integrating with Minipay, we're offering the mini pay users the um, exciting opportunity of finding gaming events and safely joining them, and even creating creating them by, for themselves. Imagine the abilities of being able to create a tournament on any kind of game you want, just because you're probably good at that game. So um, the market size illustration you see here, it's kind of reflecting a problem we noticed with uh, esports in Africa and gaming in general in Africa. You see the global player spread. Uh, Middle East and Africa has about 16% of players. Um, sorry, 17% of players. But when it came to revenue, it's really, really low. So we have a lot of players, but um, we don't have paying players. And um, most of the reason that happens is because uh, generally Africans don't spend money for things that are just simply for leisure. There has to be some form of um, compensation for it. So with esports, we believe that we can get more uh, play, um, players involved and um, increase the revenue. Um, our revenue model for one gap is for tournament fees and for subscription. Um, our roadmap, um, we'll be working with uh, a member of the core tier for offering gaming gift cards. Um, we're also going to be launching a podcast. And um, we're also going to be launching an NFT reward system for pro gamers and their fans. Um, my team is made up of um, professionals from um, gaming, from media, and from crypto. We combined, we have uh, almost 20 years of experience. Uh, thank you. You can reach us at hello at onegap.network. So um, I'm going to demo our product. Uh, Can you see, uh, Matt, can you see this? Okay, um, you guys should be able to see this. Yes, yeah, so we so can see I'm it. So just going to discovery, then we computer, yep. So I can be able to join tournaments, buy gift cards, claim more. This will be happening later on. 
So here you're going to see a list of tournaments that are available. Um, these are tournaments that we've hosted before. So I'm just going to click on um, this. So the one thing you notice here is I can't join in as a player. That's because this tournament is not funded. It doesn't have enough fund, as you can see from this side. It doesn't have enough fund to support me uh, as a player. We built it this way, so it will be um, practically impossible for any player to get um, jobbed, basically. So as far as the um, tournament is available, available for you, that means you can be able to join it as a player. But now that it's uh, not funded, it's uh, it can only be sponsored. So I'm just going to um, show you the flow of um, sponsoring a tournament. So I click on sponsor. I'm assuming I'm a sponsor now. Just you know, select a um, subscription model that I want to use, and I should sign now. Oh wow. Okay, this is probably taking a bit of time. Bear with us. Okay, uh, let me just run through on my MetaMask so you see the DAP works because maybe that has to be something. Um, okay, so I can run through this on my MetaMask so you see how it works. Um, we notice the bug. Okay. Working this on Minipay. So I'm just going to sign the transactions and uh, I can end my presentation because I feel I may have gone overboard with the timing. So you see, I just signed the transaction and it should go through the network. Okay, yeah, I just got the notification and All right. Okay, um, Matt, I think maybe, I'm not sure why it's not going through, so yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Ralphie. You know, live demos can can have uh, some of their issues sometimes, but we really appreciate all the hard work that you've done throughout Solo Camp. Yeah, thanks, man. Thank you so much, Ralphie. And yeah, live demos are always uh, tricky and it's up to the demo gods, right? Uh, so uh, I really appreciate uh, the effort that everyone uh, uh, took here to, to do those live demos. I think it is important uh, to see it live and it adds a fun element to the show. Um, so um, what a beautiful mission. You know, I, I really think that games can bring people together. And um, your solution is also very simple. And I love simple uh, solutions. Uh, just the ability to, to lock the, the rewards in advance and to, to provide transparency for a tournament, as well as uh, just enabling people to discover um, legit tournaments and participate in them. And I think it can make uh, 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 the wallet very fun. And this is the way it should be. So uh, thank you so much. And I would love to see uh, tournaments um, being uh, supported by Minipay, by Celo. So uh, thank you so much for the, uh, your great work throughout camp. Yeah, we are open to have you guys as uh, a pilot. So we uh, when we launch on mainnet as pilot sponsors, I mean. Awesome. Hi, thank guys. you, so thank much. you very much. Thank you for the opportunity. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ralphie. And now we have our last presenter for today's event. We're going to bring back Ada on stage. Hey, Ada, how are you? Hi, everyone. Um, hi, Matt. Thank you. Sorry, I just caught up abruptly earlier. No um, okay, so while my okay, yes, so we're loaded. All right, um, let me start with introducing myself. My name is Ad Ada. And I'm the founder of ATSA. Um, what is ATSA about? So ATSA is a 
registry of verified digital art artwork and we and we facilitate digital licensing and secure investments in African art art pieces, right? So what is the problem? The first and, and major problem I'll say is limited access to markets. So you'll find there is a lot of creativity in the African art space, but because of the authentic concerns and you know different ways to value a piece. Um, you will find that the high-end um, investors are like unwilling to invest in a piece unless this is from a big name or from a high paying or from a big gallery or a well-known person, right? So there are a lot of um, talented people that, that just go like unnoticed or undervalued for a long time. And another issue is unreliable provenance documentation. So there is nowhere to validate the history of, of a piece. Again, unless it's from a well-known person that has appeared on the news. Um, um, there is there is limited knowledge of artifact value value streams. What does this mean? So a lot of us in Africa, and we know this, we sit with history a lot. Um, a lot of us can go back to our hometowns and we can trace history back two, three hundred to five hundred years even. And there are a lot of relics and artifacts that are so valuable that are so beautiful to see. But the international world doesn't have any access to that because the people that live in it just live in it and they don't know how to um, um, create value from it, basically. And the need for African ownership. So we we are very passionate about this uh, about this one because my team and I, we are creatives at, at heart and we feel the need for Africa to own our own narratives and to own the story behind the art pieces. So what is Atsa about? Atsa is um, we are a two-step solution basically. So we have off off-chain due diligence serv um, services that we render to tra trace and track a piece and to make sure that any piece on our system is either verified or you can tell that it's that we have not yet ver verified that information. I would have the on-chain um, part of our solution that helps us track the ownership of the piece and, uh, and the value as it changes hands um, through history. Um, a bunch of us know here the arts, the arts scene is a very, um, is a high end value space and we, and the African market has grown from his original 550 million to um, over, by over 40 million since last year. Our, um, Competitors are actually very sad accurate. Most of these these markets though are Western focused and none of them are uh, are developing solutions directly um, um, targeting our own problems. Um, why we feel like we're awesome and we can make this this work. Number one, we are the first to market for what we know of uh, from for the African space. We have in-depth knowledge of the of the ecosystem. My two co-founders are creatives themselves with over 10 years of experience in the in the ecosystem i have been a coll a collector and a fan and also in it we have institution institutional grade security and provenance tracking as well as royalty sharing speaking of my team my name is adobe orajaku and i'm a software engineer by trade uh, with over 11 years of software engineering experience been a team lead for over four years now and led a lot of teams to build blockchain products my co-founders are shared you and Tena. they should be on the call now hello guys and um shared you is a curator who has worked and represents a lot of artists in the space for over 10 years of experience Tena is an artist himself photo um photographer sold a couple of pieces a lot of pieces for high-end money and he also does documentaries as well. Um, mini pay, mini pay is an. Um, we are we are super grateful for the ability um, to be part of the program because of number one, all of the support that Cello Mini Pay for the bootcamp has actually given us, particularly in fleshing out the um, payment structure of our um, platform. And we are and we are glad to say that with use of 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 Mini Pay, most of our users we can launch to market earlier because we know that there is. Um, our 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 target market are galleries and artists, and they are very web to traditional people, and no one really wants to get like MetaMask and the wallet and all of these things. However, if they're onboarded to MiniPay, the accessibility on their phones, they can easily get us um, get access to our platform and utilize most of our tools and our and our protocol, which is exciting to us. Um, so now I can, even though we're in prototype, I don't know if I can just display the demo 
of how it's easy to be it will be to use for a collector to use mini pay to just directly go and pay on our um for a piece on our platform so the the, the collector can see a piece on the platform can scroll and see all the information they can request more info or they can directly buy and because they're on mini pay they can just directly make that purchase and we we start the payment process on the blockchain and, and we and we connect them to the custodian who is either an art gallery or a collector and facilitate that purchase um yeah so back to the slide so yeah that's basically and with the help of mini pay we can launch to market early without um before we fine tune all of the whole um custodian wallet part of our solution um our product is basically we are um diligence services asset to um, tokenization and we also have a custodian protocol that tracks the ownership by, by um, from every sale of the piece so um yeah um that's basically all about us um and we hope that you become part of our journey and you see the potential in what we are, we are trying to do for the african art, art space thank you all Thank you so much, Ada, for this uh, wonderful uh, presentation, beautiful presentation with the uh, art pieces incorporated uh, in there. <clears throat> so I think uh, Atsu plays both the part of being a marketplace for art, but also uh, uh, acting as a treasury, as a part of the curation process to make sure that they, uh, the art pieces are also uh, authentic. And I think uh, that can bring uh, a lot of uh, opportunities for creators uh, in the in the region. And um, I really like the uh, the work that you did uh, throughout Kev and uh, the uh, possibility of bringing that uh, into MiniPay uh, is is just uh, uh, remarkable. Uh, uh, having Atsu a part as both of the uh, online experience and when you are in the gallery uh, as well. Uh, amplifying uh, the experience. So thank you so much uh, for the uh, wonderful presentation. Thank you, Alan. Thanks, Alan. Great job. And I know that uh, a lot of you guys are, uh, th this is a global uh, uh, event and a lot of you guys are connecting from uh, all parts of the world and the network is not always uh, 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 the best, but I really, really appreciate how you all uh, presented today and dealt with that. That was just, Awesome to see. Awesome. Yeah, such a wonderful event. That was our last speaker for Demo Day for Cello Camp Batch 8. Everybody throw those comments and appreciations in the chat. It's really great to see everybody working so hard, all the effort that you all put throughout camp, all the sessions that you attended, engaging and connecting with one another, messaging each other, helping each other solve problems, even right up until before Demo Day, everybody was connecting and supporting one another. It's really been such a great thing to see. We encourage anybody who's interested to go ahead and pre-register for Cello Camp Batch 9 over at cellocamp.com. We'd love to see your application. We'd love to hear what projects you're building. We'd love to know how we can support you and help you build on Cello. And also, please, 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 voting is now open. You can go ahead and see the link in the chat. Please vote for your favorite teams uh, to receive Cello Camp awards. The first place team will receive 10,000 cello. The second place team will receive 5,000 cello. And the third place team will receive 2,500 cello. All of the cello camp participants are great. It's nice to have a little bit of a competitive aspect as well. The community vote is worth 25% of that vote. So we definitely love to see who you think your favorite project is and who you think should receive those cello camp awards. And before we sign off, I'd love to pass it over to Alone for any closing remarks. Yeah, so uh, thanks again. I want to thank uh, uh, our campers, uh, the teams that worked so hard, uh, Matthew, Rachel, uh, the team at the Cello Foundation, uh, Jason, Anna, Eric, uh, Rene, Marek, uh, all the all the, the, the wonderful uh, work that have been done uh, with uh, the uh, MiniPay team. Um, really, uh, I think uh, this batch was a, a great uh, a continuation to the tradition of excellence that we have uh, at the Cello Camp. And working with uh, founders from the region was just a, a pleasure. I think uh, 
founders in the uh, Africa region has both very high technical skills uh, as well as the uh, business foresight and, uh, and instincts. And it was really, really um, awesome uh, to work with all of you. We learned a lot uh, for sure. And um, um, we just saw here a, a glimpse uh, of, of uh, what uh, happens in the, uh, in the community. So if you are interested, in learning uh, more, follow uh, us on on Medium, and um, uh, really, I wanna thank everyone for joining uh, today's call. Uh, we saw apps around gaming, around art, around DeFi, on and off ramps, and so I think there's a really great diversity of uh, of projects. And if you have an idea for a project, as Matthew mentioned, uh, don't hesitate to uh, to apply. To uh, the next uh, batch of Cello Camp, would love to to uh, to hear from you and to learn more uh, about what you are building. So, thanks again, everyone, and have a great. Awesome, thank you, everyone. We're going to bring all the presenters back on stage as well. It was really great to have you all here today. You know, see see your favorite faces, see the projects that you're interested in. We're so happy that you all were able to present today. It's really. <laughs> guys, great job, Thanks, guys. Yeah. All right, bro. Thanks, everybody. Cheers. Nice to be here. We join all. It's she gone. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bye, everyone. Have a great rest of your day and evening, and please go vote for your favorite teams. Bye, Thank guys. You. Bye. Bye. Bye.